mom for taking the time out of your day and, and coming to this uh, parent-teacher student conference. My parents come to the school and talk to one of my teachers about all of my grades and how I'm doing with attendance in my classes. Um, this is my mom. And this is Mr. Negard. Hi, Kim. Hi. Well, I was a little leery about not getting to talk to all of his teachers, but Patrick did a pretty good job explaining what was going on in each class and what he was learning and it was really neat to hear it from his perspective and see him take some responsibility for the problems and some credit for the things that he had done well in the classes. Those look like you were pretty consistent week to week. I'm worried about the downward trend here, or is that is that not really? Well, since it's above uh, the 90, I feel like since it's it's going downward because I had more assignments, and the more assignments I had, the more. I personally uh, like them a lot because it gives accountability to the student uh, rather than the parent um, and the teacher. It is all about the student, and so it's good for the student to be there and to hear the feedback uh, from teachers. But it's not going to continue. Trend. Yeah, it's not going to continue. It's not like you're slacking off. I, I'm going to start with an 100, and then it's just going to go a little bit down, but I'm not going to get below. Does that keep going with the new quarter, or do you start back up again? Um, with know I know with honors algebra two, she's having it cumulative. Okay. But with the rest of my classes, I'm pretty sure it. In a student-led conference, the student actually has more of a role because we actually have to give our input on it, and we have to tell our parent what our grades are, and we have to say what our attendance is, and the school administrator also has a say and my parent can talk to me and my administrator so they know exactly what's going on. And these are these are your quarter grades. So this is a, your actual grade card. These are the grades that will go home. Well, Patrick had a graph that he had tracked his grades each of the weeks during the semester. And so he could tell me that this week he had a dip because there was a test that he should have studied more for. And that helped him know why his grades were what they were. And he was able to explain that to me. Every week in advisory, we track our grades on a piece of paper or online. We write them down so that we know if we're decreasing our grades every week or if we're increasing how we're doing. And then at the parent student-led conference, we show our parents all of our grades and our progress and if they've increased or decreased and so they know week by week what our grades were. Um, it's a good chance for the schools to get information out to both the kiddos and the parents. Um, the counseling office has done um, different things with student-led conference, getting out information on individual plans of study, um, which helps us track um, to make kid sure kids are on track for graduation. Um, we use it to communicate grades and attendance, um, different policies that we may have. Um, we use it to get out career cruising information. Career cruising is a website that gives you surveys and it helps you look for jobs in the future. We have to do a certain amount of it every nine weeks and it kind of shows what we're interested in and what kind of jobs would match our criteria for what we want to be. And so it gives a lot of kids who don't know what they want to do, a lot of options. What does career cruising show you? Um, just shows like your interests and like what jobs you can. And what did it say you could do? Um, in the career matchmaker, it just gives me lots of results of what I could be. So what was your top one? My top one for that one was a music teacher. And I, I have lots of 
In career cruising, there is a place for long-term and short-term goals. Um, we also did that as part of one of our Friday activities where we do uh, character ed with our students. Goals are really important. It is, studies have shown that if students, um, and really anybody, write down their goals and communicate them to other people, uh, that they have a much higher chance of being successful in completing those goals. Um, so we do talk about short-term goals, things that they want to complete in maybe the next couple weeks, nine weeks, a semester, um, as well as goals that are you know, more future-oriented, maybe after high school, um, whether they're going to attend a post-secondary institution, tech school, um, enter the workforce, military, things like that. So student-led conferences give um, students and parents a good chance to discuss some of those short-term and long-term goals. I think that it's easier for parents to come to it because the kids are also heavily encouraged to go to it. Um, like my advisory class got a donut party if we got all of my class to come to the parent-teacher conference with the student. And everybody in my class did it, and even some of the kids who have never gone to it before actually did because they were encouraged to come to it. And I think that a student-led conference brings more parents into the school building, which is a good first step in uh, building relationships between parents and teachers? Um, I think we have really good teacher and student buy-in here at Great Bend High School. Um, I think the teachers have seen the value in the student-led conferences over the years. Um, the first year is always really tough because nobody really knows what to expect when you start something new. Um, but now they've seen the participation go um, you know, kind of through the roof. We were at, I believe, about 30%, 40% participation before we did student-led conferences, and I think we were close to 90% in the um, fall of this year. So I think that the teacher buy-in has, you know, really improved because they've seen the success. Um, I think students also think it's a good thing. Um, I think they like the accountability piece of it. Um, and we do give them, you know, a script and things to follow, so I don't think it's super stressful on their part. Um, we do help them out on um, the things that they need to talk about and kind of what they need to say. Well, it really was a lot on Patrick, the student, to uh, pull it together. He had to contact me and work with his advisor to find a time that all three of us could be there. Um, and so he took responsibility with that. He had the, the grade sheet planned out. Um, really, the advisor was just there to facilitate and say, okay, now you've got to talk about your test results. Now you've got to talk about career cruising and just kind of help keep on track with uh, the different subject areas that were going to be covered in the conference. Um, overall, I think it's just a really good opportunity for parents and students to get together um, to really visit about school things in an environment that's positive. Um, and it is still kind of guided by the teacher. The teachers can get input from um, other teachers that may be having issues or maybe really good things that the student has done that we can share with parents. Um, overall, I think it's just a really positive thing for all that are involved. Yeah. J yeah. Uh, just know that you can't hide from this because your parent and your administrator are going to be right there So they'll be right in front of you having this conversation instead of you waiting outside of the classroom So you'll have an active role in this conversation and you're going to be showing each of them what your grades are So just be prepared to be part of the conversation